You're not gonna count me in. That's not happening. We gotta count you in, we gotta be ready. Okay, I'm starting. In five, oh my gosh. four. He's going like this, off camera. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Bevan Lee, and today I am coming to you with another case review. Well, it's not gonna be a review today, it's just gonna be the unboxing. Um, and a quick overview of the case. I was uh, kindly sent a case from um, a new brand. I have not, I hadn't heard of them before. So this is gonna be my first time ever using one of their cases. Uh, the the brand name is Chroma. I think I'm saying it right. Yeah, Chroma. K R O M A. And I will have a link uh, in the description box below with um, some more info and a little discount code for you guys too if you use that link. But anyways, I'm just gonna unbox this. They sent this in the mail. My husband ripped it open because he thought it was his auxiliary or something for him. He thought it was his, but it ain't his. So. It's mine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the package. This is a little different. It has a bumper that goes around the phone and a back plate that you can change and it has different design for that back plate. So they sent me a bumper and it comes in three colors. There's a white, there's a black, and there's like a soft pink. They also sent me three different back plates that I can try out and see which one I like. So I'm going to pop these on my phone and test them for uh, a week and then come back to you with um, more thoughts on how the case held up. Oh, they sent a really nice handwritten note. You can follow them at their Instagram, get chroma, and use some hashtags too if you get their one of their cases. But um, that's really sweet. Thank you. Uh, this is they're not paying me for this review, so I'm going to be just telling my thoughts. So, ooh. This is the bumper. If you, any of you guys have ever tried a Spigen case, they have a bumper case that kind of is the same idea. I haven't tried one recently. So yes, yeah, Spigen had, has a case that is um, of similar um, build with the bumper yeah. and then like a silicone, or not silicone, I think there's just more of like a matte rubbery finish. But this bumper is a lot thicker and a lot more durable than the Spigen uh, bumpers. I don't know if you can tell the thickness on here. I guess it has some bend and you need some bend in order for it to absorb shock and whatnot if you drop it. But Spigen's case, literally when you put it on, I was scared that I would like snap it or crack it. And I think people actually broke their cases just putting it on. But this one, I don't worry about like it's you can't, I don't know if you can, it's very thick, it's very well built. So I'm gonna pop open these back plates to see which one I like the best. And the way that I chose the back plates was just what I think I would use every day. I didn't want to get one that wasn't my flavor. This one is called Daenerys because Game of Thrones is awesome. And it's just kind of like white dots, but falling. I don't know if it has anything to do with Daenerys. Maybe the creators are just, you know, fans of Game of Thrones like I am. This next one is Denim Yellow, and it's just like yellow poppy flowers, which is really pretty. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. And the last one is a little bit more colorful. And this is called Pistachio. Pistachio. And it's greens, blues, and the green has like a little bit of a yellow tint to it. If you can see it, I don't think. And those are the three that I've got. Thank you again, Chroma, for sending these out to me. That was very nice of you. Uh, I'm gonna try on pistachio just because it has a little bit more flair and it has a cover on it as well. Okay, that's different. I think that's different. Let me take off this. I'm still using the same. Trace the fire case. Okay, yeah, so. For the Caseify case, the print is on the back side of the case. It's not on the inside. So like if, for whatever reason, if it got scratched up, which it hasn't yet, but if it did, it would sh it would scratch up the case. But for this Chroma case, um, let me take this off. Oh, that was stickier than I anticipated. Just a protective little film. The print is not on the outside. It is on the inside. And you can feel the texture in here. It's like a matte texture, so it's not gonna be like scratched up on the back of the case if the back of the case gets scratched up. And there, it's just a glossy finish. You can see the, the shine. All 
right, so let's put this case on. It has instructions on the back of the back plate box. So it says first to put the bumper on using the um, power the power uh, power side first, and then go ahead and you snap the 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 uh, back plate in camera angle first and then pop it in so let's see they make it seem very easy on there you know they tell you to do it one way and i always end up not doing it that way for whatever reason okay the white looks very slick and that popped on fairly easy i had to just kind of give it a little bit of a touch so i've never used a back plate like I said, the Spigen is more of like a cover and the bumper goes around, so this is going to be a first for me. Okay, so there's like a little notch on the top here. I don't know if you can see. There's a little notch and you're supposed to just slip that notch inside. Sorry, I'm probably just, you know, not being good at this right now. Okay, I felt a snap there. Oh. I think it is just me being dumb because it's snapping in really easy now. There. Wow, first impressions. The buttons are very responsive. This is how it looks with the bumper. I should show you that. How do you say it? pistachio or pistachio? Pistachio. Pistachio. Since the bumper on this case is made of a matte material, matte like rubber. It's not as grippy as the case that I. I guess we'll see how, as time goes along, if that's gonna be something that, like, you know, if my phone keeps dropping out of my hand. I could use a pop socket, but I think I'm just gonna do this and see how it is. But this is really gorgeous. So these cases are BPA-free, which means that it's safe for um, any child to put in their mouth. My husband and I can confirm that babies like putting things in their mouths. <laughs> Um, and our son, our one-year-old, has put our previous cases in his mouth. So at least with this one, you know for sure that you're getting a safe case for them, that there's no toxins, um, there's no chemicals that are in the case or uh, that the case is, you know, combined with. Um, it's food grade safe, it is eco-friendly, it's 100% recyclable. There is a bevel on the, for the bumper, so there is a little bit of lay on the table design this camera cutout is straight up like laser cut i don't know the right word but it's very well cut there's hardly any actual backplate of the phone showing the buttons are very responsive power or the volume uh, mute switch is accessible and i just cut my nails too so that's good if you bite your nails or something and power button is very responsive so we'll see how it goes all the the ports are well cut out so you don't won't have any issue getting those on docks or anything so there's all the ports um they're wide open so you'll get all of your speakers and your um power supply thing is not um blocked in any way um so i'm gonna go ahead and test this case out for the next week or so and then um, I'll do a follow-up review um, with what I've noticed because first impressions aren't always the whole dealio. So once I test it out and have more thoughts, I will get back to you and tell you what I think. I'll see you in a week. Hey everyone, it has been one week since I uh, last did a check-in for the case that I have been testing out by Chroma. My phone has definitely been protected. I did drop it, I think it was once or twice, and it was raining out, and besides like a little bit of a splash that got on the phone, um, there was no water inside the case, on the back plate, or inside the sides, and there's been no scratches to the front of my phone, so of course that's the most important thing when you're looking for a case, is to make sure that it protects your phone um, to the best of its ability, and that definitely um, is the case with this Chroma case. So that's awesome. Another thing is my kid has also put the phone in his mouth a couple times and like I mentioned in the video before, I don't have to worry about any kind of chemicals or toxins getting into his system when he has it in his mouth. So that is great. There are some, I won't call them downsides because not everyone is as picky with their case as I am. So just like the casemate 
there were just a few things that pestered me and it's not really a big deal it's just something that it's more of a my problem um, and it just irritates me because I'm I like just do weird things <laughs> the thing that um, that bugged me the most about the case is the bumper like I said I don't really use the bumper case a lot and the thing that I get irritated about is I I, I found that I pull my phone case like the edges and with this one you can see if I pull it it comes apart and it's not only in the front with like uh, the case to fly, if you pull the front it's just like the little rubber lip will come off because it's attached to the plastic backing but since this is a bumper it also comes off the sides here um, so that's just me you, you're not supposed to be doing that with your case you're supposed to just like leave it alone and let it protect the phone but of course when I'm playing a game or texting or just like sitting watching TV, I automatically kind of grab my phone and I can feel the um, the looseness. Uh, not to say that the bumper has lost its rigidity at all because I showed you previously that um, it's actually pretty thick and pretty sturdy. It's still sturdy, but I, can, I would think that um, if you kept doing that long enough and like keep yanking on it that it's gonna like start losing some of its um, rigidity and that might be an issue down the road. Another thing is that since this is a glossy back you can see some fingerprints but that's what happens with the glossy case. Uh, with the case to fly, since the uh, since the design was printed on the, the the top of the case and it was in a matte format it tended to not show fingerprints as much um, but like I said, that's just a personal thing. It still looks gorgeous. I've gotten lots of compliments on this. Um, I was a little uh, concerned that it wouldn't have any like grippiness because it's more of like a matte finish on the sides. But I've had no trouble um, just holding this when I'm like playing a game or answering a call. It never slipped out of my hand at all. The only time, like I said, when it fell, it's because I just didn't have it secure enough in like my pocket or my backpack. It's not against this case, it's just it fell because I'm a klutz. If you hit these, they have a little bit of a like a... I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear where the button meets the case and it kind of does like a little tick 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 tick. Doesn't really bother me, but if you're like real sensitive to sounds, um, that might bother you. Uh, but the power button doesn't do that at all. And I have no trouble turning, I don't, it's very um, sensitive so there's no problem putting the phone to sleep or waking it up. Like I said in the previous video, I was a little concerned also about this bumper being white. It's more of a me problem, not necessarily the case problem because they do offer different color ranges, but I chose to get the white because I think it looks clean and nice. But I will say that after 48 hours maybe, I started to see some... Um, wear on the case and it or on the bumper and it did uh, get a little bit scuffed. I don't even know if you can pick it up. There's just like a little scuff right there. I don't know if it comes off. Okay, so it came off. <laughs> so maybe the um, you can clean it fairly easy. I'm not sure. But there will be scuffs on the white. It's not scuff proof. It's not dirt proof. But it seems to be uh, like you can clean it. Uh, I don't know the longevity of how long it'll stay like crispy white or if it'll turn like brown or anything. But for the week that I had it, it just had a few scuffs from pulling it in and out of my jeans and in my bag. Um, but I just cleaned it off and it looks new, so that's good to know. Um, but if you are kind of OCD about um, any like even one little scuff or dirt mark, then maybe go with the black. The pink is a little on the lighter side too, so definitely go with the black. And if you don't, pull your case apart if you're a normal human being then I think you would really like this case um, there's lots of designs for the back like I said I, I got three of them and they're not very like girly looking they are cute but they're not girly they have a lot more like bows and flower or floral patterns and they have um, simple ones like this or simple ones like the other two that I showed previously, like very simple if you're into more of um, a minimalistic look. I'm gonna leave a link down below um, that will give you 10% off if you would like to order the case or the bumper. They sell sets and they also sell these back plates separately. Um, I will put the info of how much uh, everything is right here in the little text section. Okay, so if you go ahead and click the link that I leave below and use the promo code BEVIN10, you'll get 10% off your order. Um, and that is going to be valid through March 15th, 
which has already passed. <laughs> March 15th through April 15th. So you have a couple weeks to get your orders in. Make sure you use that link so they know that you came from me and use that promo code BEVIN10 to get that 10% off. If you have any questions whatsoever, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer it as soon as I read it. I mean, I'm not like a super popular YouTuber, so I am available for the most part 24 seven, except you know, if I have a crying child, then you're gonna have to wait a couple minutes. So that's gonna do it for me. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. And um, if you'd like more kinds of these videos, um, also leave a comment, let me know what cases you're interested in. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this face, hit the subscription button down below. Otherwise, I will see ya when I see ya. So long for now.